This video will cover correct ball toss and ball contact. In the next video of the Tomahawk Surf series, we'll recap and look at common mistakes. The toss. There are few rights and wrongs for how high your ball toss should be. However, as with all serves, you must throw the ball up at least 6 inches or 15 centimetres and let it fall back down at least the same distance. If your ball toss is lower than this, the serve is not legal and the umpire should call a fault against the server. Some players like world number 4 Dmitry Ovtarov prefer a high ball toss that goes over their head. The advantage is that the ball will be travelling faster as it hits your racket, which in theory will allow you to create more spin on the ball. The disadvantage is that it may be more difficult for you to time your serve swing as the ball is travelling faster. If you start a fraction of a second late, it will be that little bit more difficult to make good timing on the falling ball. I find a ball toss that goes to about eye level is a good mix between making sure you're throwing the ball high enough and finding a comfortable level where you don't have to look upwards into the lights or tilt your head upwards. That lets me maintain my crouch position throughout my serve, which then helps recovery and gets you into a good position in the rally. The rules state that the ball toss must be near vertical. That means you can't throw the ball back towards yourself at a near horizontal angle. That makes it easier to generate heavy spin on the serve and would give you an unfair advantage. I have found that there's usually some give and take on this rule and that umpires will only fault you if you're blatantly throwing the ball straight backwards towards your racket. It can be challenging mentally if an umpire warns you or faults your serve in a match. So I'd suggest trying to think about this during service training and keep your ball toss vertical so you avoid the situation completely. Always keep your palm flat when throwing up the ball. The rules of the game state that you must remove your non-playing arm to the side as soon as the ball has left your hand. I'd recommend you dropping your ball toss arm down beside your body directly after you've thrown up the ball. This is so the opponent must be able to see the ball at all times. Ball contact. Using the body position we went through in part 1, your contact point should be around the same height as your lower chest or high stomach. This assumes that you're crouched down with your knees bent and shoulders and head forwards. This height should be approximately the same height as the top of the net or a little bit higher. We'll dig deeper into this later in the series as we cover ball flight. Stand up with your elbows touching the sides of your body and with your fingertips touching to form a triangle. The top point of this triangle is where you should aim to have your ball contact. It will give you the best combination of control and body rotation and get your body, arm, forearm and wrist all working together to accelerate into the shot. Much of the rest of this series will focus on the different spins and how important deception will be for the quality of your tomahawk serve. You'll learn to use the subtleties of small changes to racket angle and ball contact position to make different spins look nearly identical and to trick your opponent. What's in common for all the serves is that you're aiming for a thin brush on the ball where you're skimming the outside. Take a water bottle, fill it with water to give it some weight and place it near the end of the table. Practice brushing around the outside of the water bottle. Your goal is to get it to rotate but stay in nearly the same position. You'll only be able to achieve this if you're only just brushing lightly around the outside. 
If you've enjoyed this video, you can go to tthedge.com to view the rest of this series as well as over 150 instructional videos by world class player William Hensel. You will also find Brett Clark's tutorials on tthedge.com that will teach you how to serve like a boss.